Switching to the Bryant football team, they were just one game shy of clinching an NEC championship berth in the spring. Now they're back on the gridiron preparing for the fall season. Our Rosie Langella was at practice and has more on what we can expect from the Bulldogs this season. Head coach Chris Merritt told me after practice on Wednesday that for a lot of his players, this is their first full training camp, but he's looking forward to developing his new and younger players. As far as veteran experience goes, Merritt brought in a shiny new quarterback, Gage Maloney, a transfer from JMU. Composure, his demeanor, he's quarterback, and there's no question about uh, what he brings to the table for us and he just makes us better. Maloney bringing big game experience. He appeared in 14 games for the Dukes, which included the 2019 FCS National Championship game. It's been going well. The uh, guys are great. They helped me out a lot and uh, it's been a good transition so far. Maloney said one of those players that helped him with the transition is running back Daniel Adababoye, who was named all NEC first team and was the first Bryant running back since 2015 to average over 100 yards per game. I think the biggest thing for me is just continuing to bring my effort every single day. Day in, day out, I'm trying to get better, and I'm trying to be a leader on this team on the field and off the field. And on the defensive side, the Bulldogs were first in the conference in scoring defense. The groundwork was laid in 19 because uh, we completely changed the defense. When Tom left to Wagner, I wanted to hire somebody who had a similar defensive structure, and Anthony uh, and his staff have come in and done an excellent job. Bulldogs will travel down to Kingston for their season opener on September 4th to face UR. Now, the last time those two teams played was in 2002. The Rams shut out the Bulldogs 28 to nothing. Reporting in Smithfield, I'm Rosie Langello for 12 Sports.